All right, y'all, welcome back to the Town & Country Kitchen. This is a much requested video. I showed you in the last one, I'll link it up above, where I had the uh, meat haul. This hamburger meat is what I'm gonna be canning. Y'all asked me to show you how I'm gonna do it, so that's what I'm gonna do in this video. The first thing that you wanna do is have your jars ready, have the seals hot. You're gonna need a canning funnel recommended to have the magnet to get them out of the hot water and then to get your jars out at the end of this you're going to want these all right i already have the seals heated the jars are ready to go my canner is empty i'm going to open up my hamburger meat and i'm going to show you how i put it in there let you see that this is going to be raw packed so you do not have to cook this beforehand All we're going to do is take this and get as much of it as we can into the jar all the way up to the rim. All right, I'm going to show this to you. See how I've taken it? and just press it in there until it gets to the rim of the jar that's all you do so we're going to fill up all of these jars and once i get them filled up i'll come back and show you the rest of it all right y'all i've got the hamburger meat packed in here we're ready to put the lids on i don't put any salt in the hamburger meat and i don't put any water because it's raw packed and when it cooks it's on grease will cook out and put the liquid in so what we're going to do is we're going to start putting the seals on. Make sure that they're good and tight. Once you get them on, then you can put them right here in this. And this one holds 20. This is the Presto 23 quart canner and it's canned many a jars and I'm very happy with it when I purchased it I didn't know if it would be as good as some people said it was and it has been I've had no problems out of it at all so I do highly recommend it on this bottom layer we're going to put 10 of them in it then we will put the rack in and we will put the other 10 on top. All right, y'all, I'm gonna go ahead and put the seals on the rest of these. And once I get that done, I will come back and show you the next step. Alright y'all, I've got the bottom 10 in, now I'm going to put the plate that goes in between them, and I'm going to set the other 10 on top of that. And these are pint sized jars, so they are going to go at 10 pounds in my area. For 75 minutes, if you're doing quarts, I do mine for 90 minutes, and this will only hold seven quarts. But for our size family of four, one pint is easily enough hamburger meat to do each meal that we do. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and just sec it and show you how to get your canner ready. Then I'm gonna cut this off and I'll come back once I put the lid on and show you that process also. I'm gonna make this short and as sweet as possible and get right down to the key points to show you how to can without you having to be here for 30 to 40 minutes to watch most of the stuff that you would already know how to do. So I'll be back in just a second. All right, y'all, the next step is, is to get you some water. We're gonna fill this canner up before the neck of the lower level of the jars. 
your canner will more than likely have a fill line on the inside of it that will let you know where to fill that up. I've got the water in it. I'm gonna turn it to high and let it start getting hot. And once it gets really hot and it starts smoking some, I'm gonna put the lid on. And when I put the lid on, I will bring y'all back and let you see. And I will show you how to do that right there. All right, guys, I'm back. Since you can see now that the steam is starting to come off the water, that means that my water is hot enough to go ahead and put my lid on. The first thing that you wanna check before you start canning is this right here to make sure that it's clear all the way through and that it's not clogged. I'm going to look at the arrows. It's on my canner, on this handle, and on my lid. It will tell me which way to go to close it and which way to go to open it. I'm going to push that closed until it seals up. A lot of people will tell you that it's not safe to can. It is completely safe as long as you follow the steps that you need to. This right here will let your pressure out. It also has pressure relief valves on it. What we're going to do now is we're going to wait till there's a steady stream of steam that comes out of this. And once it does, I'm going to put my weight on it. I can in my area at my elevation at 10 pounds for 75 minutes for my pints, 90 minutes for my quarts. So once it starts its process, I will come back and I will see you then. All right, y'all, now it's time to put the weight on top of this. Be careful as you put it on there so the steam don't get your hands. The next thing it's gonna do is it's gonna have all this stuff to pop up and it's gonna seal off and then it will start building pressure. And once it gets to 10 pounds, I'll let you know and we'll start keeping it regulated right there. And in 75 minutes, we'll have 20 pints of hamburger meat ready. All right, y'all, we're back. It's at 10 pounds now. Straight up right here is 10 pounds. So we're just gonna turn down the heat. I've had it on high the whole time till I got it up to the 10 pound mark and I'm gonna cut it halfway down. And this is where you're gonna look at your clock and you're gonna time it at 75 minutes from now. Then you can cut this off and you're gonna let it cool down and let that pressure come down some before you can take your lid off or anything. So just keep an eye on it. You have to kind of hang with it and stay around right now so that you stay above 10 pounds, but you don't want to come down below it while you're canning it. So stay above those 10 pounds, and I'll see you in 75 minutes. All right, y'all. The canner is finished. I have took the top off with the pressure dropped. They're still very hot, but I'm going to get one of them out, give you an idea of what it looks like, and then in just a little bit, when I get them all out of the canner and I have them on the counter, I will show you what they look like. This is it. Alright, I'm going to get this over here and then I'll be back. Alright y'all, I've got it out of there. They are completely finished. All that's left to do now is for them to cool down. You can see that one right there. They're still bubbling. They're still very hot. Oh, there goes some seals. All right, one thing I want to tell you is when you get these out of there, they're very hot. Make sure that you have something down below them because if not, these will melt your counters. So do not put these directly on a counter. They're going to cool down, and as they cool down, you'll hear them uh, seals start to pop. The cooler they get, the more that they will settle down like that one right there. It's not bubbling as much. It's starting to settle down. These are ones that was on the bottom, so they're hotter than the ones that were on the top, so they're still bubbling. But I will leave these just like they are. All I will do is wipe the tops off, put what it is, and put the date on it. Put it in the boxes and then put them up for storage. It is up to you. If you want to take these rings off, 
That's your choice, but I do not do it. And I've had absolutely no problems with it. So there you have it. I'll have the time that I cook these down below so that you'll be able to see that. And then you can just check for your area to see how many pounds and for how long at your elevation that you need to do them. But y'all asked for it, and here it is. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. I'd love to have you subscribe. Click the notification bell down beside it so that you won't miss out on any new videos. And happy canning!